The metric system is very simple. All scientists use the metric system for describing their measurements. In the metric system, for example, there are 1,000 millimeters in a meter, 1,000 meters in a kilometer. The metric system is based entirely on factors of 10, which makes it very easy to manipulate and very easy to understand. You will notice, however, that everyday life does not always contain the metric system. The United States is an exception in this regard. We still talk about pounds where 16 inches goes into a pound, about feet with 12 inches to a foot, and these are units that are not simply divisible by 10. The metric system came from France just after the French Revolution. The people who ran the French Revolution wanted to usher in an age of reason, so they got rid of old systems of unit and nonsensical ideas and introduced the metric system. Thomas Jefferson was very taken with the metric system and wanted to introduce it to the United States. He no doubt would be bitterly disappointed to realize that 200 years later, his fellow Americans were still attached to horsepower and pounds and gallons. Science, however, works almost entirely in the metric system, and you'll find it a useful and easy way to keep track of scientific measurements.